Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar and this is Mega Aquarium Strategy and Tactics Episode 10. So, in our last episode, we uh, uh, built our, uh, our, our uh, turtle tank. Uh, we've got a couple on land, a couple in the water here. I did uh, forget to actually put in the Bosman's Rainbow. Uh, I, I know I was talking about it and I researched it, but I didn't actually put them in. So we went ahead and did that. I also realized that the, deck, the initial uh, decoration I put in there uh, was too big. It was taking up the blank 2x2 two two grid that the turtles wanted. So I opted for a, another decoration, a statue pillar thingy that we've got with our new level um, and everyone is hunky-dory in this tank um, also let me uh, test something here so um, yes our turtles need a um, um, they need um, uh, 15 points of light in order to um, uh, reproduce and we only have a 10 however I want to see I think you we need to research a specific 15 point lamp uh, but let's just see if we are able to add a basic light. Yeah, see, only one corner mounted equipment per tank. Yep, that's what I thought. So somewhere in the tech tree is a 15 point lamp that we've got to get to and unlock. But speaking of unlocking things, we have unlocked the U tank and that's going to be the subject of our next expansion. Um, now we got a couple of new goodies here. And of course, you know, you, you all know my priorities. The, the, the toys get first. The shark hat shelf is our next research. Now, for this U tank, however, first off, let's just see if there's anything we're missing here. Nope, just breads and groans, breads and groans. Fair enough. Fair enough. Now, I was doing some thinking about some shuffling some things around. Uh, and I have an idea. I have an idea for this, this tank here. So we want to expand out our aquarium quite a bit in this direction. We also have this pump, um, which for now is just servicing that, but it's going to be servicing our U-tank as well. Um, let's get to... Oops. Let's just move some of these creature comforts around because this is where our U-Tank is going to be placed. How much is the U-Tank? I may need to pass them. Oh, that's actually not too bad. Uh, and I, yeah, this one is not a variable sized uh, tank, uh, but it is a freestanding one. Um, actually, this kind of makes a good spot for it right here. Like this particular shape and orientation, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, now, we can um, add a tank here, but do we have enough uh, filters for it? Not yet. Not yet. So we'll just wait for our funds to recover a little bit, and then we can... Uh, bubble tip an enemy, yes! Okay, um... Now let's 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 ponder our next move because we got some we got some new goodies that we can get here up at rank nine, but we, we there's I, I I certainly won't begrudge uh, dipping back into the earlier ranks for some good stuff. Um, the porcupine river stingray is a thing, it is a very interesting thing. It requires acidic water, but no no rocks. That's an interesting one. No rocks. Does not like rocks. I don't think I've ever seen that particular requirement before. But hey, that's as we get into higher level fish, we're gonna get start getting into some weird requirements. Um, let's see. Wolf fish is cold. Red leg. We already have one of them. Blocked skate is salt water. I'm kind of looking for for fresh water, higher level fresh water stuff. Emperor angel fish. A bully. Hmm. You have the Achilles sturgeon fish. Hmm. Nothing's he nothing here at this level is speaking to me, but we have plenty of other things that are that are certainly speaking to me. Like the red-tailed catfish. This thing is huge, but we may need a more specialized tank to house that beast. Um, 
I'm looking for, for something else fresh watery uh, and non acidic because uh, we're, we're I, I have a little gambit here in mind. Uh, we already have fan shrimp. Uh, and get more fan shrimp, but we, we have them from a trade. Uh, Gardener's killifish. Pears only. All right, yeah, Gardener's killifish makes uh, makes a healthy amount of sense. So here's what here's my thought. Here's my plan. My plan of action here. So one of our problems here with this particular tank, the uh, uh, our acid vat here, is that it. Um, we, we need more physical tank space, but we also have a lot more fish space. This particular tank has a little bit less fish space, but more physical tank space, uh, if that makes any sense. So we actually kind of want these guys to be this tank. But now these guys need a home. Um, but these guys are constantly running up against um, tank space because they want to breed. Uh, and I want them to breed. So what we can do is we can actually get this over to here. So we're, it's going to be a little bit more tank arrangement. We are going to have a new tank here, but our new tank is just going to be our old acid vat, um, which we're going to have to just rearrange here. But in order to get these fish all the way over here, we're going to need to uh, uh, get this tank all preparated. Uh, and I want to make sure I have enough, uh, enough stuff here. Because, yeah, these two are both uh, non-acidic uh, uh, freshwater tanks. So, yeah, you can't have one acid and one freshwater hooked to the same pump because they share the same water. Um, right then, let's, let's do this. We're going we're gonna to scoot you back a smidge meter here. Yeah, you can still reach here reach there. Perfect. We need another heater. I never did actually get that mega heater, but that's okay. Where this is... I keep doing that. Alright, so that's got the temperature sorted. Alright, um, we should start moving all of this stuff over. Including the uh, the uh, the fish and then also the, uh, the the babies, the the eggs and the and the spawns and whatnot. Thankfully, we can move those. Let's scoot you all over here. Oops. Perfect. Yeah, and you need all of your decorations to come with. Which is fine, because we can. Oops. I keep misclicking here. Get these rocks going here. This has quite a bit of tank space to it, thankfully. Perfect. Um. And as far as uh, filter power goes, I mean, do you guys need additional assistance with the more filtering stuff? Yes, you do. Okay, I figured as much. Um, or more, more specifically, you guys need some nitrate reaction power. Yeah. Put you there on the end there, and that will get your both of your respective water qualities up nice and high. Now then, um, so the other thing we need to do, these guys are, these, these pumps here are fine, um, but what we do need to do is make sure that the, uh, I do hope this converts itself back to a, uh, a, a non-freshwater uh, tank uh, once, once we flip it back over. So these guys are going to need to make their way over here. And this is where the math is going to be a little iffy. I know these guys will fit physically, but let's see if we can get all of our stuff here. Um, this. Oh, there we go. 
Um, right then. Ah, uh, yeah, we do need the RO machine. Let's get you moved out of the way here. Now the RO machine needs to come over here. We'll want to make sure these are uh, placed correctly. Yes, yeah, so these things can all fit like this. have that that and we do have some cave power that is necessary here fair enough fair enough is there a um there may be something here that may give us some like is there like a cave that also has plants to it i don't think so there there are there are plants and rocks We may be able to get some extra plants out of the uh, out of the deal here, depending on what this tank absolutely. Needs. Oh yeah, fresh water. Oh, yes, we did get some new stuff. Red tiger lotus lilies. We we may have a more um, efficient way to get our um, our floating requirements done here. So let's let's get that here. Let's let's clear out the um, the floaty thingies here. We know we need the, the java ferns. We know we need the bogwood. Or do we need the bogwood? Let's let's start fresh. I know we know that we know we need the java ferns. But these things two by two and that actually that that fulfills all the lily requirements right by itself. So that is more efficient. Um, we do need some bogwood. We do need um, some caves so we can get the caves uh we can just do the the simple driftwood cave like right here um yeah if we do another java fern that does give us the three bogwood alternatively the bogwood trunk look at this monster here but we do need the fern because we also need the plant power. Yeah, and now we just need some extra plant power in here, which I mean we can we we have plenty of options for just pure plant power. I think that's what the moss balls were originally for. Is there something more efficient though that we can get um, than that? Now who? I think there was a reason I put the moss balls in here. The Amazonian angelfish. Yeah, I think the angelfish. Um, well, here let's let's get. Yeah, they do need they do need moss balls. So we do we can't we can't um, uh, fudge it. But now now the tank works, um, and we have that three by three space open. Oh, they need a vertical surface is their thing, which we actually have a vertical surface, but that doesn't fulfill the moss ball um, problem. Um, how big is the snake grass? Yeah. Now the snake grass, yeah, we're playing a little Tetris here. The snake grass, how much does the log? Uh, plus eight. So if we, hang on, hang on. I think we can, I think we can make this work here. So if we get rid of two of our Java ferns, and get a bogwood trunk here, and then a piece of the of the snake grass here. Last, we are two plants short of our requirements. Now we might be able to. Who's who's the who's the one that's demanding the? Yeah, the Amazonian angelfish aren't the. Well, no, they are part of the ones that are demanding it. Hatchet fish are also demanding that. 
We could trim two of the hatchet fish, actually, because we only need three of them. Yeah, let's trim two of the hatchet fish. Alright, you guys are still a little low on health. Did we not feed you enough? Oh no, water quality. But that solves the issue of um, plants here. Because um, now we are 16 of 16 plants. Now, when our, our things hatch, um, that, that should allow the, uh, the angelfish to start breeding, right? Yes. Okay, good. So we can start getting breeders in this tank. I knew there was a reason I was going for that. Also, this thing, how much are we... Yeah, this actually is Goose our Science Poster, because this is a more complex. This is the other reason I want to move everybody into this tank. Uh, now we just need to up the, uh, the water quality, which is something we can absolutely do. Um, so what we're going to do, I'm going to move you over here. Uh, these two individual filters are going to become a mega filter. Um, and then this, you are going to become a large nitrate reactor. And that will make everybody happy. Phew! Okay, folks, now, now we can get into our new tank, which is actually an old tank. Um, but we, we, we can make it new again. We can decide to, what to put in here. What the heck are we going to put in here? I have no clue. Yeah, you're upset that there's no fish in there. You, you, it, it, in, in a flash of a second, you went to go look at the pretty fish and they all vanished because everything happened while it was paused. Uh, what do we put in there? Um, I mean, we could go for these guys. We could also make this a cold water tank. We could actually put that um, those those you know, those um, those other fish in here that uh, for the cold water. I think I might want to do that. I think that's the correct answer here. So we're gonna sell you. Hopefully, this knows to transfer it back to uh, uh, salt water as soon as we put one of the salt water fish back in it. Oh yeah, that they were a trade. The fish that I wanted to get into here. Achilles sturgeon fish. Nope, that wasn't it. Atlantic mackerel is what I was looking at. These guys. These are what I was looking at. Okay, uh, so what other cold water fish do we have that we haven't pressed into service yet? Oh yeah, I've still got to do my bubble tip an enemy. Let's not forget that, because we have a new member for the ambassador tank. Now we are going to need to swap out for one of our... Uh, one of our other sponges here. Actually, we could actually trim one back from all of our sponges and put three of these guys in. That might actually be a pretty smart move. That way we have equal representation here. Bubble tip an enemy. Don't mind if I do. No dose. There's a third one, though, right there. Trace. All right, all the requirements are still being met. We've got nice um, representation of this higher level thing, so we should get a fair amount of prestige. And we are up to 20. 20 on our ecology poster. All right, let's wait for my money to recover a little bit here. Um, you know what I think I'm going to do, just so this tank doesn't... Um, we're going to put... We're going to get a, that cold water thing here, it's large chiller. Hopefully you know to convert to... Um, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab one of these guys out. Alright, good. We're going to get... yeah, we're going to move the rass and the, the pollock over here. Because um, the pie crab, cra the pie crust crab needs, they we he needs a buddy to really be seen. Because right now, what's his what's his thing? Yeah, forty four percent. The pie crust crab needs a buddy um, to really show itself off. Uh, Fifty four percent chance, and he will grow, which means he'll move that into there. And then I might add another of something. But now, now we have a tank that's not too bad. These guys have, yeah, they they even just need a little bit of, t of 
thing here, so we won't be hemorrhaging um, prestige for this new saltwater tank. But yeah, now we got this tank over here, and these guys have room to breed. 79 of 126. Now, the Midas Cichlids, these are the guys that you, they, um, they, they only want to be 1, 2, or 6. Uh, but now there's room for them to be 6, because the tank is over 120. Uh, that was the other reason I want to move them over here. Um, so, we should just, um, we, do we have, uh, cichlid spawns, tetra spawns, and convex? Alright, so yeah, we're not, none of the spawns, so, there, we get six of them there, and then they're all happy. And then there's still plenty of room for everybody else to just keep breeding and breeding. Uh, the other thing I wanted to do here, wow, we spent that money just in time. The other thing I wanted to do is get our third poster on the floor, even if it, if we don't have a supercharged, uh, dedicated ambassador tank like this. The fact that guests are willing to see three different posters here, um, and, and give you the benefits for them is, is a good thing. Um, so we want to get that poster on the ground, and I'm thinking our Tunnel of Love tank here would probably be a good candidate. We even have a nice open spot for it right over here. Also, I know I said I was going to get into the Talkie McTalkersons. I will do that in our next episode. I got distracted by the shiny. You know me. Uh, ever, ever distracted by the shiny. Okay, um... Poster, poster. 750. Okay, let's, let's just save up some money for that. 750, there we go. Poster, good. Alright, what does this give us? Five. Not as potent as I thought. There's gotta be someone, some tank that has better than a five. Uh, tank six actually has a little bit better than a five. Um, as far as five different species. Yeah, actually, this tank might be a better candidate here. Even though the fish themselves that are inside that tank are a little bit more pedestrian, comparatively. Um, what's this giving us here? Oops. Six. All right, I'll take a six. It's temporary. As you can see, you can move it around however you want. Um, so if it's, uh, you know, if we get a, a more spiffier ambassador tank, and yes, we are going to be angling for that. Um, we, we can move that third poster to the proper tank, but might as well get some benefit off of uh, the more modest amount of it. At the very least, we want the extra ecology. All right, people liking this U-Tank here. Hmm, someone stashed some trash over here. Let's, uh, let's do something about that. Get a bin over here. Alright, and there's Gardener's Kill a Fish. I think we can sneak these guys into that freshwater tank there. Alright, um, as far as our next um, candidates here, I'm thinking of let's let's work on our next uh, our next bigger thing here. Uh, our next our next uh, the uh, our next tank that uh, we can get for our, or sort of our ambassador type uh, you know, part two tank. Um, and what I'm going to do is this is going to be our predator tank. Uh, this is going to be fish that eat other fish. So we're going to have minimum fish sizes here. So I'm actually going to go all the way back to rank three and snag us a coral grouper, which will pop instantly. Because remember, the ultimate goal of this mode is to um, um, research all of the fish, like all of the fish. Uh, Longhorn cowfish is another uh, another good one. Um, so yeah, let's also toss that uh, Gardener's Killifish in here. What do these guys need to breed? Uh, fluffy Foliage, we can do that. Now this is going to up the water quality requirement to 80. Yeah, and those guys only want it to be in pairs. Um, yeah, we need more, we need more logs and we need more uh, water quality here. 
Now I know the logs make the water a little bit acid, but um, it's actually not that bad. Um, the water doesn't uh, formally become acid unless it equals the size of the tank. So as long as that is less than 176, we're good. Um, and actually that acid carries over to here, but again, less than the size of the, of the water supply here. So no, nobody's going to be going belly up because of the uh, pH. We do, however, need more uh, filter power here. I think another nitrate reactor is in order. Wow. You guys are tough. You guys are really tough. Um, I mean, because how much how much does the mega filter give us? The mega filter is 220. Uh, let's do another mega filter over here. Not enough money. Eh. All right. Um, well, also, we're gonna need a uh, we're gonna need room to access it, and we're also gonna need more money. Uh, I'm sure they won't go belly up instantly. Uh, 615 is what we need. Dang, those are some fussy fish. Longhorn cowfish. Let's keep going. Uh, not the dotty back. They will get eaten alive. Uh, schooling banner fish. Now we got to decide on a minimum fish size. I think five is going to be too small. I think we're going to need something larger. So we can't go for them. And if we're going to be doing an ambassador style tank, we don't want a fish that requires six. Um, back snapper, on the other hand. Yeah, this guy. Yeah, I think uh, I think the humpback snapper is pretty good. Although you need three of them and they well, I mean, we're going to have a this is going to be a massive tank here. Um, so, yeah, maybe we can maybe we can go in with that. Let's go humpback snapper. Looks like we're giving our uh, cuttlefish talk here, because that's an explosion of uh, prestige. Oh yeah, let's see if we have any other uh, common lobsters. Horseye Jack. Atlantic mackerel. Oh yeah, we still haven't bought our Atlantic mackerel. The whole point that I wanted to do down there. Well, we got to make sure these fish don't go belly up. Wow, that's a lot of prestige for just going poop. That is a lot of poop and prestige. All right, we're almost there. You can see why I want to focus so heavily on the money. Um, because, yeah. Okay, I was about to say, please tell me that made a budge on the water quality. Humpback Snapper, get. Porcupine Puffer, this guy is going to be good and he's armored. So you're going to be a welcome addition here. We're just getting all of our low-hanging fruit here. And yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll let this idle off screen, make a little money, and buy those uh, those um, fish that I've been putting off the whole time. Uh, unless I go on a spending spree and, uh, and buy shark hat shelves too, which is a distinct possibility. OJ Squeezer, more merchandising, more merchandising, a better drinks machine. This popcorn and OJ, perfect combination, no complaints. All right, folks, so in our next episode, we will uh, continue and, and start uh, towards our big bad Ambassador 2.0 tank. So if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent, your feedback is always welcome. Uh, so until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya! Don't know if a six is going to cut.